Let's go to Anne Webster, National MP from Victoria, joining us from Parliament House, Canberra. Thanks for joining us, Anne. What's your thoughts of Matt Keane? He's still actually, I think, on the payroll of the New South Wales Parliament as a Liberal MP. I don't think he's actually officially finished up yet. What do you think of him jumping on board uh, Labor's renewables and climate plan? Hi, Chris. Great to be with you again. Uh, look, Matt Keane is taking an opportunity, uh, something that he's clearly passionate about. I don't know him personally. I wish him well. It is actually up for the government to explain what they've done here and why they're doing it, why they want him particularly to be the chair of the CCA. So, yeah. What can you say? As I've just outlined, though, he's part of the problem. He's been pushing the renewable zealotry in New South Wales. You've got a state there now with the highest power prices it's ever had, facing blackouts over summer. He said it wasn't too early to shut down Araring. He said they didn't need a gas generation plant in the Hunter, in, in the Hunter Valley. Now it's clear these are things that the state desperately needs. Well, Chris, uh, I know that Australians aren't so worried about political appointments. What they're worried about is the cost of all of this and the cost of living generally. In terms of their energy bills, uh, they're not going down anytime soon that we can see. The plan that Labor have put into place is clearly failing. Why would we want to continue down this pathway? As you so eloquently point out, nuclear is a an incredible option that 19 countries who compare to Australia are already uh, working with and uh, benefiting from and those who are signing up for it. And if we look at energy costs and bills, Ontario energy bills are around 14 cents per kilowatt hour. That is significantly less than South Australia is paying right now. Uh, and likewise, Victoria. So I think you know, the Coalition have brought a very credible uh, plan to the table. They're being honest with Australians. Uh, we want to see the moratorium lifted. We want to work with state and territory governments and we want to see Australia prosper into the future. This is the way to do it. Yeah, I'm going to get more into the detail of that in a moment, but I want to stick with uh, your, uh, your political colleague uh, because the former leader of your own party had this to say about Matt Keane. So that's the only thing that's consistent is this guy is treacherous. That's what's consistent. And, us, and of course, in the past, you can now sit back and go, he was never in our party. He, sh well, he, he should have joined the Labor Party at the start when he left school. Barnaby Joyce there. Now, Anne Webster, Matt Keane's still a member of the Liberal Party. He's now on a government body and he's out publicly arguing against coalition policy. Should he be expelled from the party? Well, I think that's an issue for the New South Wales Liberals. Obviously, I'm in Victoria, I'm a Nat, I'm not a Liberal. Um, uh, Barnaby Joyce, of course, knows Matt Keane, so Barnaby has more right to say what he says. Uh, but I think that this is up for the government to explain and it's also up to the New South Wales Liberal Party to make a determination on what they see is the right process going forward.